Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Golden Gophers will kick it away first. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The offense lining up for a first down play. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And the ball is picked off. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. Handoff to the lone back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Little touch pass to the receiver. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. Back to pass. It's Brosmer. Setting up the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that and start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that. Play. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. Taylor has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. What you talk about on defense is speed, is penetration, getting in the backfield, making something happen. And you could tell they got in there so quick, the offense couldn't recover, couldn't do anything with them. Nice job getting the tackle for loss. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play. Big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer. Or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get live. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Give that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Georgia going up tempo. Trying play action. Right down the middle. Right to tight end. And he was loose and not stopped for 
until he gets to the 47-yard line. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. On the run, still looking. He turns it loose to the left. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs in its first and goal from the seventh. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. They'll run it on first and goal. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Motion from the offense. To throw, it's back. He wants it all. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. to pound it in. He's in there. Two-point conversion is good and pushes the lead to five. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. So much for the touchback. Here he comes. This guy is so dangerous. The excellent vision to find the lane and get it out and set up the offense with good field position. Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. He'll come out throwing on first down. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Taking it the other way. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Looking deep. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Georgia comes quickly to the line. Back to pass, it's back. Quickly to the tight end. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets to the 36. The offense in hurry up mode. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal. Afterburners coming. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. The Dogs have it in scoring position on first and goal. Wide out in motion. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bulldogs! Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They've got to shore up their play in the back half. He'll set up to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Etienne. He's not going to make it stop short of the goal line, and they are unable to extend this lead any further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out. He gets a block. Got a little room. A 
dynamic return. Explosive and got loose on this kick coverage team, and they were barely able to keep him from taking it all the way. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to... The pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Leaves it with the back. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. They'll try to run it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Now that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. They'll try to get the two-point conversion here and make it a three-point game. Power ahead. Bounced off his feet. Well, they decided to try to run it in on that two-point play. He got two yards, but he needed one more. They fall short. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They've got time. They've got the lead. And David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. And the pass is intercepted. Trying to take it back. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota! What a play by this defense with a pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Pushes toward the goal line. He gets it into the end zone for the two, and now they lead by a field goal. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. On the run, it's back. Throws to the wideout. And that is interception number three on the day. And they make the play to stop the scoring opportunity just before the end of the half. Right place, right time. Linebackers are usually big physical guys you see play the run a lot. Hard to get two interceptions in a game. Special player making special plays. Offense getting set for first down. He's going to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. 
Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Pulls it in. It's Mango. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Firing toward the end zone. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. And in the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. It is perfect. get things going here in the second half as Georgia about to kick it away. He'll bring it out. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Quarterback checking the play. Wants to throw on first down. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's open. The short hands, it's Mango. And he'll be brought down. The Golden Gophers want to crank the tempo. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Buying some time. Trying to make magic with his feet. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Might as well stick with him. Picks up the first down. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And the Golden Gophers have this offense rolling. Looking for a man, it's Brosmer. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They'll try to snap it quickly. How about the job in recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he got the ball. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. The give is to Taylor. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. When you're around midfield, there's not really much of a choice. Go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they can't connect a costly turnover on down. You know, offensively in that situation, fourth down, you're throwing for it. Everything has to go right, or someone just needs to be able to make a play to keep the drive alive. They couldn't get it done, and now the offense is coming off the field. Fast motion from the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. They're setting up the screen. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? The play action fake. Fires left. Pulls it in. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Touchdown, dogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Two-point conversion attempt is coming. Back 
to throw, it's back. Quick strike complete. He's not going to get there. The defense standing tall on this two-point conversion attempt, and we are still tied. Oh, he's going to take a chance. Slips through the line. He's on the loose. There he goes. Open it up. Just trucks through it. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. Well, maybe they thought if they kicked it into the end zone that he wouldn't dare bring it back. Instead, he just dared them to tackle him, and nobody could. What an explosive return. Yeah, and those guys got so much speed, they ain't scared. And you could tell, takes it out, good blocking, give them a little crease, and you could see the speed. You don't put slow guys back deep. You don't see Jesse Palmer returning kicks. No, 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 no. You see the fast guys, and you see an open space, and boom, he's gone. He'll bring it out from inside his own ten. And he loses the football on the return. It's recovered by the kicking team, and they'll steal a possession. Very rarely do you have a play on defense where you've got 30 yards head of steam built up to come make a collision. On kickoff and kickoff return, you do. And a lot of times you see big sticks and fumbles happen as a result. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. On second down, just keeps firing. He's got the tight end. They make the tackle, but not before he finishes off this third period with a big play. That's the end of the third quarter of play. This is the Minnesota. 27, Georgia. 20. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. A first down run on the doorstep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And they're finally able to get him on the ground at the one. A touchdown here on third and goal really ratchets up the game pressure. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Number 99, set to kick this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bell. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. He'll put the tight end in motion. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Coming after it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. There's nothing better than being a defensive lineman in a defense period that pressure the quarterback, that gets hits on him, that make him feel uncomfortable, especially when you come into their building and you get everybody really, really quiet. That's and he makes the catch inside the 20. He's got the sideline going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. Georgia going up tempo. From the red zone, looking for a receipt. He'll take a shot. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And the freshman just showed those great balls.